Today, guys, we're gonna be making modern stetter hash. We're gonna let that warm up while we cut up our onion and potatoes. So we're gonna need half an onion, we better go get that. These aren't from our garden, but next year they should be. We better bring over our chicken scrap bowl. We like that knife, that's a good one. No, I'm no professional. I just like to eat. I like to eat good food. In most restaurants that you go out to nowadays, you can't get good food. I just like to dice my onions up. I like to get the onions in first because I like my onions cooked. I don't like raw onions in my potatoes. Get out our pork lard. That's pork lard from our pasture-raised pigs that we raised last year. I'll put a video right here to how we rendered it. Very simple. Let that melt. Let's try to do it one-handed. Ooh, don't make too much of a mess. And now we'll go make some potatoes. But I don't know if you guys heard, my phone went off. Yep, that's right. It's like four o'clock, 4.20. The video for thir Thursday night just went live at three. So let's see what we got for a comment. Last the nice guy commented. Have you ever tried putting a nest box on the floor for the ducks to lay in? I have. I got a barrel outside of the coop and they don't lay in that. I haven't put one in the coop yet. I need to. I want to make one out of wood. We just haven't had time yet. Hopefully when things slow down, maybe I can make one. Great suggestion, nice guy. And then Kathy Morrison commented, your chicken feed scoop is just like mine. Thanks, pretty resourceful, isn't it? I like the way you think. Keep the wonderful videos coming. Thanks guys, I love all the encouragement. It helps pump me up and lets me know what you guys like. Keep the comments rolling. I think we'll do four potatoes. Maybe more, depending on how big they are. We like to make extra of this, because it tastes so good, man. And it tastes even better. Leftover. Okay, we'll do six. Or however many we got. Two, four, six, seven. Perfect. Just keep stirring the onions. We want to get those just a little brown. We don't get to go crazy because it's going to take a while to cook up the potatoes. Oh man, I hate when I grab the wrong drawer. We've been living here now for two years and I still don't always go to the right drawer. Man. And then next year, all these potatoes will be from Lumna Acres, from that cattle panel. Can't wait. Organic potatoes are expensive. I grabbed two more potatoes because this stuff is so good left over. Even better the second time around. I wanted to make sure we had plenty enough left over for Sunday morning breakfast. You want to make sure you get your potatoes nice and small into little cubes. The smaller, the faster they're going to cook up. Now that we have some of the potato cut up, I want to get that in the frying pan. Alright, let's 
Let's get the rest of this. Put a little bit more lard in there. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is healthy. If you don't believe me, go get the book, Nourishing Traditions. I'll leave it in the link below. It's by Sally Fallon. Actually, she's one of the speakers at the Homegrown Food Summit, so check that out. You wanna make sure it's pasture-raised pork lard. That is the key, pasture-raised. It's the key to any meats. All right, well, that's starting to cook. There we go. I think this will fit. It's gonna fit the best we have. That's gonna have to do. So I did pick up the kitchen before I had you guys come over, but I wanted to let you know that this is real. I haven't washed this morning's breakfast pan yet. So let me do that before we can fry up our pasture-raised pork sausage. We had pasture-raised eggs for breakfast. Now you're gonna need half a pound of pasture-raised sausage. Now you don't have to get too fancy on actually how much it is. We just use half a package. Don't put the other half of the package back in the refrigerator. Sorry about that, I lied. We have way too many potatoes for half a package of sausage. We're gonna use the whole thing. You're gonna wanna make as much of this as you can anyways, because it tastes so good. I just like my sausage nice and fine, so I just kinda chop it up with a spatula as I'm cooking it. And that mixes in nice with the potatoes and makes a really good modern stedder hash. I'm telling you, you need to try it. It's awesome. We prefer this over corned beef hash now. This is so simple to make and it tastes so good. All right, now that that's all browned and cooked, we're gonna shut that off. I'm gonna need a bigger pan. You don't want to keep the heat on like medium, medium high. Just keep checking it. You want to cook the potatoes up pretty good. You don't need to cook them thoroughly, but you want to brown them up and get them a little bit crispy before we go to the next step. Boy, I'm making a mess. I need like a big wok to cook this in. Wok, wok, whatever you call it. It's already smelling delicious. Mm, mm, mm. While we let that cook, let's clean up a little bit. I'll put the stuff in the dishwasher. It's not the fun stuff that people like to talk about, but it has to get done, right? I know, I know, I'm not wearing my hat. What the heck? I figured I wouldn't wear it because we're inside cooking and we had a subscriber, I believe it was Eve Phillips, ask me, how come you always wear your hat even when you're eating dinner? So I figured, what the heck, I won't wear it in today's video. Oh, you know what we need? We gotta go to the store and get some eggs. I think we're gonna have to go to New York City to get some eggs. We better shut off the alarm system to New York City. New York City, you say? Yeah, we're gonna go to New York City. We need some eggs. Isn't this how you guys do your shopping? <laughs> got a nice little bench. We just go to the market and we pick out what we want. Nice, fresh, and clean. You can't get any better than that. Oh, we got one way up front.
Thank you, ladies. Have a blessed day. You too, Mr. Rooster. What are you doing? Now comes the fun part. How they cook? That one's still a little hard. El dente, not bad. And we're still gonna cook them for a little bit longer. I'll show you the next step. I'm sure if you had a big wok or whatever they're called, it would work nice. We don't. Excuse our mess. We're just gonna let the simmer till we're ready to eat it, and we'll just stir it occasionally. Oh, it broke. I did, we got two Icelandic chick eggs. Yeah, that's what I meant. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the nesting box. Yay, the girls. What's that? The Banker Girls. The Banker Girls now for the day. It's good. Did you make a lot? I did. <laughs> One of the things I said when I'm cooking it, I'm like, I gotta make extra. So we like it leftover, it's even better. Yeah, I love hash. You like modern stutter hash? Uh-huh. We just wanted to thank you guys for watching. We hope you try the modern stutter hash. It's really good, right Olivia? Mm-hmm. One thumbs up or two thumbs up? What do you give it? Two. Two thumbs up, awesome. So if you guys try it out and you like it, leave it in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.